Tonight, all three territories declare public health emergencies as they prepare for COVID-19 to hit the north. And the Canada-U.S. border closes to all non-essential traffic. Good evening and welcome to North Beat. I'm Juanita Taylor. We begin tonight in the Northwest Territories, where this afternoon the Minister of Health declared a public health emergency. This gives the Chief Public Health Officer more power to respond to the coronavirus pandemic. CBC's Katie Toth was at the briefing and files this report. This public health emergency lets the chief public health officer make binding orders to make sure businesses, nonprofits, and people are doing everything they should to slow the spread of COVID-19. Among other things, the state of emergency could allow her to prohibit travel to or from certain NWT communities. It could also allow her to give out faster emergency licenses to medical practitioners. It gives our chief public health officer the authority to order any measures she sees necessary to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 here in the Northwest Territories. This decision was not was made not because we're fearful, it's because we're being proactive. Now, more than 150 tests have been done for the virus in the Northwest Territories. Zero of those tests have come back positive so far. But Cami Condola says COVID-19's arrival in the Northwest Territories is an inevitability. There's 171 countries out of, I believe there's 195 in the world that have now reported a case of lab confirmed COVID and that includes Greenland. We're declaring this public health emergency now so we can start hiring people, start using the power.